Hey guys, welcome back. We've got another Windy Clothes Shortcuts video for you today. But this time we'll be using a 5 power club. So uh, the Wolf 5 power, 4 accuracy, and 2 guard line at level 5. So this one's for the elitists, but uh, should be fun to watch even if you don't have a 5 power club. So we're going through all the holes as per usual. Starting off with the hole in one zippity zap. This one is a soft red. You just gotta aim it, make sure you don't fall off. And uh, if you get it going towards the hole, that's pretty straightforward. Next up is Bot City. Another another soft red. You want to try and hit the very tip of whichever side's closest to you. And uh, yeah, it's a hard one to get, but that's how you're going to be able to get it. Next is the hole in twos. I'm not going to go into too much detail with all of the holes, because uh, if you've got a five power club, you're probably already pretty good at the game. So this one don't max it because it goes all weird off the ramp. So a soft red for the first shot, then about a middle yellow. Straight towards the hole when your 4 accuracy should not be a problem. Up and over is pretty fun with the 5 power. You can go over the skyzer in one shot. Between the end and the middle, max it over and you can just tap it in for an easy hole in two. So ancient ruins, you can now fire it straight over from any of the starting spots. Super fun, and then the last shot's just a tiniest bit more than a soft orange. And another easy hole in two. Christmas Eve, again, huge advantage with a 5 power. You can just max it straight over off the left side of that board. Land over here, and then you bounce it against the, against the brick wall, about a middle yellow. It is hard to get the hole in two, but if you don't make it, it's a very easy hole in three. This one is a soft orange off the right side, brings you in here, basically the same, and just make sure you angle it over the right enough so you don't get stuck behind the bricks, and uh, you should get towards the hole for a two. Zero to hero, very easy, just max it out, brings you all the way over here, don't have to bank it anymore, you can just tap it straight on in. Fog generator. From all of the spots now, you can max it straight over the geyser. The back left is sometimes a bit weird, but you can make it from all of the spots. And this one, I find about a hard yellow works well. I like to bounce it off the back and just let the accuracy do the work. To infinity and beyond, don't have to wait for the board anymore. You can just fly straight on over. And then this shot is between a soft orange and about a middle orange, just depending on how close you are to the geyser. You'll figure it out pretty quickly, and it's a basically a guaranteed hole in two. Cracking wall, also nice and fun with the five power. You can go right through the, the very right gap. And then this shot is like a soft red, or a, or a hard orange if you're a little bit further up. And uh, you should get a hole in two quite often. Catch me with you can, if you can. I like to bank it off the left wall, brings you perfectly over to here. And then from no matter where you are, it's always a soft red. Just make sure you're going towards the hole, and you should be getting an easy hole in two, especially with that easy for accuracy. Two lanes, one hole. I feel like I'm saying this every time, but basically every hole in Windy Close such a big advantage with a five power club. Max it straight over, then this one, about a middle orange, aim it out to the right. It's pretty hard to get the hole in two. Got it there, you will get it sometimes, but otherwise it's a very easy hole in three. So skydiving, you can go up the ramp if you wish. If you're in a stop spot like me, you might have to bank it off the wall with about an orange, otherwise just hard yellow it up. And then from here, about a hard orange or a soft red, out to the right. If you get lucky, maybe you can get the hole in two. But I find that ramp's actually very inconsistent, sometimes flings you miles away into the ocean. So I actually end up going, taking the more consistent route, which is just a hard yellow down here, then a soft orange off the board, and then a soft yellow over the hill, and it's basically a guaranteed hole in three, because, well, you might not get a two, you'll, you'll rarely get a two, and uh, the other way is pretty, pretty inconsistent. So hurdle jumping. You just want to max it off that left side of those bricks. 
And then from here, you can just do a tiny bit more than a soft orange towards the hole, or if you're on the left side, you can just uh, smash it off the back wall, and it will bring you straight in for a two. So a leap of faith, two different ways to go. You can either max it over, don't hit the guy to this time, instead you can just go straight on over. And then you just got to max it out to the left, and uh, if you get quite lucky, you can actually get the hole in two just like that, otherwise it's an easy three. Or the other way, which is an easier hole in two, is if you're on the right side, you can soft red it through these little posts here, and then from the ramp you fire it straight over that geyser. And with a bit of luck at the end, you can also make a hole in two that way. So you're not always going to get a two, but uh, those are a couple of ways to get it. Spot on, you can just go straight over the geyser. Don't have to hit that brick anymore. Boom on the full. And then the second shot's about a softer middle orange. Somewhere in between there. Angle towards the hole. That ramp's always a little bit weird, but if you get lucky, you can get the hole in two pretty easy enough. So floating driftwood, you can do the exact same as a 4 power, just yellow it over, and then a, a hard orange I would find works pretty well with a 5 power. Of course if you hit that little brick there, you can get the hole in 2. Well, the other way that I got the hole in 2 for this video was to yellow it up to the 3rd square. It doesn't really matter, but from here, somewhere around here, and then if you get a soft red, Pointing it towards the hole, and you bounce on that board, you can get through that hole and uh, into a two. It looks insanely hard. It definitely is hard, but definitely doable. Definitely doable. So now for the hole in threes, starting with whack-a-mole. Exact same as a four power, just max it over to this geyser over here. Wait for it to pop up, soft orange from here. You get right before that ramp. And then from the ramp, just, just a tiny bit more than a soft yellow, and I find that almost always gets you a hole in three. Easter Island, exact same as a four power as well, except you can easily get over that uh, over that hump in one shot. Max it over, and I, I've got very close to a hole in two. I think it might be possible, but I haven't seen it done yet, but uh, I'm hoping that I get it one day. Slam the brakes. This one's a little bit different. I like to yellow it, soft yellow it over this hump, and then from here you can just max it straight over to that platform, try and get it to the right side, and tap it in for a very easy hole in three. Hold on to your hats. This one, pretty fun. You just max it over the first windy bridge. Obviously going to the right side so you don't get blown off. Then again, just max it over. And then from here, another max. Slightly out to the right, bank it off the wall and uh, you'll find that a 3 isn't that hard at all. So now for the ice baths. You can't max this shot, so about a soft red or a little bit more if you're further back. Then you can max it straight down this line, and of course max it over here. And as long as you don't get stuck in the bowl, you should get a hole in 3. And the final hole through to cloud 9. With a 5 power club you can go over the geyser, so you just do a hard yellow over to here, then you want to max it across here and land somewhere around here and then I like to also go off the back wall if you're further back just max it, from here it's about a hard orange and that's how you get the hole in three but it is pretty pretty risky that guys is not always gonna get you straight over there, you might fall off so a more consistent route if you want to play it safe but it's a, it's a hole in four but it's more safe you just orange it over yellow it down and it doesn't really matter where you get. You can max it over from anywhere and just tap it in for an easy hole in four. But uh, the three is definitely doable, just a little bit risky. And that is going to do it for this video guys. All the holes with a five power club shows you how dominant a Windy Cliff five power club is. Super awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. Otherwise thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.